This video is less about Kaden Live and more about the art of video editing. Now, I can teach you a lot of technical stuff about Kaden Live and even other software, but to really level up your edits, it's important to learn the art of editing. And that can start with a couple cuts. So before I address the cuts, I would like to address the elephant in the room. And that is the new mic. Yes, I have a new microphone. And for those of you who saw my previous video, I still have my Lavalier mic. Now, this is a gift from my father. And it is the Maono USB gaming microphone. And it has noise cancellation, except that the software doesn't work or is not compatible with Linux. So I have to use it as it is, and I still apply the same audio editing that I showed in my previous video. So hopefully this will improve the audio quality on the channel overall. So thanks, Dad. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about a couple cuts that you can use in your edits to level up your videos. Now, before we jump into the cuts, take a look at this short clip and let me know in the comments if you can guess which cuts were used for this. John. John. John, you were telling me about the train tracks. All right, if you guess J cut and L cut, you're right. And for those of you who don't know, J cut and L cut is when the audio of one shot carries over to the next shot or when the audio of the next shot appears preemptively in the previous shot or the current shot. This is something that is often used for conversations in movies. So for example, I could be talking right now, we cut over to someone else and you still hear my voice. That is an L cut. And as you might've seen in the short clip, we can hear the train tracks before we cut over to the train tracks. So let's jump into Kaden Live and have a look at what it looks like on your timeline. So over here in Kaden Live, I have the three shots. We have our helicopter, then we have the therapy scene, and finally we have our train track. So the L cut is when the audio from the previous shot lingers over to the next shot. So I'll jump over here to this cut. I'll jump forward one second. And now to move the audio separately from the video when you have them grouped together is you can either ungroup them or hold down shift on the keyboard and then click on the edge of your audio or video, in this case, audio, left click, hold and drag. And there you have it. So now we can repeat the same step with the audio from the helicopter scene. So hold down shift, left click, hold and drag. And if I were to select our first shot here, you can see it does an L shape. So we have the cut going down and then the audio continuing over to the next shot. Now for the J cut, it's when the audio of the following scene preemptively shows up on the current scene. So again, inside of Kaden Live, I'll jump to the cut, I'll jump back one second in a couple frames, I'll hold down shift and I'll trim the audio of our therapy session, and then hold down shift again and drag out the audio from our train track. And now if I select the following scene, you can see we have a J shape on the timeline. So the cut goes down and the audio moves into the previous scene. So it's really simple to create the J cut and L cut, but it can really help elevate your edits. Now, before jumping into the next cuts, a little bit of technical information for this particular scene. So instead of having a dry cut, what I did is over here on the L cut, I double click on the cut over here. So it adds a transition. I increase the duration of the transition itself up to one second. And then I moved it over closer to the helicopter scene. The reason why I did this is that I wanted the first John that she says to be subtly audible under the helicopter sound. And then over for the J cut with the train tracks, I simply added a fade in so that it's a gradual increase of the warning sign for the train track. That's really it. So what are these other cuts? Well, one of them is to cut on action. It's when you cut while the action is happening. Now, in this case, it's a simple cut to a close up, but you get the idea. It could be with a sword swing, you cut to a different angle. This is really to punch in on the action or to hide a jump cut in the scene. The next one is a cutaway. And that's, for example, I would look up and I say, what is that? And we cut over to what I'm looking at, which is outside of the previous scene. Another one is an insert shot. For the insert shot, for example, I would grab this box, I'm looking at it, and then we cut to a close-up of the box, which was already in the previous scene. 
and that's an insert shot. Next up, we have the match cut. So I could show you this ring over here, and then we cut over to this camera. And what makes it a match cut is that we have a similar element from the previous scene over in the next scene. So it kind of ties the two cuts together. Another trick is to not cut at all. So lingering on a shot for an extended period of time, building up tension. Now, these are just a few cuts that you can use to elevate your edits. Another thing that can help elevate your edits is sound design. So the placement of the sound, choosing the right music, etc. All right, and that's it for this video. You can click on this playlist here to learn more about getting live and thanks for watching.